We have uh, Zombies in My Neighbors on the Super Nintendo. Now, I've actually been looking for this game for a while. I'm super glad that I found it. Uh, pretty good price. Definitely want to pick it up for the Sega Genesis as well, but uh, it's good to have it on the Super Nintendo uh, so I can enjoy it all over again. Uh, next up is a pretty much a good favorite on the Super Nintendo. It's uh, Super Mario Kart. Uh, now, this is, of course, the first one of the uh, Mario Karts uh, that I can think of uh, that I played when I was younger. Uh, it's a great uh, find, and uh, it was actually a pretty neat little addition that came with the case here. So, pretty excited about that. Next up is another game <laughs> I used to play at uh, my buddy's house because actually he's the only one that had a Super Nintendo when I was younger. Um, I never really had one. I had a Sega Genesis uh, and then of course from there I moved on to the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, that kind of stuff. Uh, so, but uh, you know, like I said, he always had the Nintendo consoles. So anytime I wanted to play uh, a Nintendo game, I would have to go to his house. Uh, he had it at his, uh, at his grandmother's house. So uh, we used to go over there and hang out and uh, used to play uh, some good games. So next one up is Killer Instinct. And I do like the uh, black case on this one. Um, I believe this is the only way they came, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty neat. Um, Killer Instinct for the Super Nintendo. Next up, uh, you guys know I love Battletoads. And uh, I picked up Battletoads Double Dragon for the Super Nintendo. Uh, like I said earlier, with the original Battletoads um, for the Sega Genesis, I'm looking for this one for the uh, Sega Genesis. Now I have it for the Super Nintendo, so I can't wait to check it out. Um, again, this is one of my all-time favorites on the Sega Genesis, uh, but I decided to pick it up on the Super Nintendo because uh, I don't mind actually having all the copies for the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. All right, staying in the uh, Nintendo theme, uh, next group of games are for the N64. Uh, first one's a pretty good one. It's uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, the hologram. Uh, cover or, or uh, sticker here. Uh, it was a pretty good pickup here. I like the gold uh, case as well. It was actually in really good shape and uh, the guy wasn't asking very much for it. So uh, reasonable price. So I ended up picking this one up at a pretty good deal. Uh, so definitely excited to try this one out. I've heard a lot of good things about this game uh, along with some many other Zelda games of course. Uh, but that's a good find there. Uh, next up is uh, one of my all-time favorites as well. Uh, it's Mario Kart 64. Um, now, I never actually played this um, personally because, like I said, uh, uh, it was only certain friends that had the Nintendo consoles, uh, and I mainly just had the PlayStation stuff. Um, but uh, when I was able to play these games, it was very fun. So I'm glad to have to uh, be able to play these games all over again as an adult um, with my own console. Uh, next up is a platformer game that's one of the best ones on the N64 and uh, some of you probably already know what it's going to be. It's uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, now I did start playing this already. <laughs> uh, start, started a, uh, a game uh, trying to play it. Uh, it's a little difficult um, but uh, you know hopefully uh, with a little bit of time I should be able to actually finish it and beat it. Uh, so I'm really excited about that having this in my uh, collection now. Uh, last game for the N64 is uh, one that I've been looking for for a while and um, actually uh, there's a couple of places uh, in my area that actually have it but the price is a little bit up there. Um, I have a friend, uh, actually two friends that actually moved out to uh, out of town and uh, one of them actually works for a, uh, a second hand uh, store and she actually found this uh, for sale at a very good price compared to normal places with charge. Um, so when we went to go visit them um, recently, uh, she was able to pick this up for me and uh, it was just awesome. Uh, so Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Now this game is <laughs> super bad, but it's a very good game uh, to have in your collection. Because like I said, uh, we, even when we went to the actual um, convention, so with that being said, let me kind of go back. Um, this one was not uh, picked up at the convention, it was actually picked up afterwards. Uh, but uh, they had these copies of this game at the convention and it actually was uh, up there. They actually had one in case with the book and everything uh, for I want to say like 150 to $200. Uh, so that goes to show I didn't pick it for nearly this one for nearly as much. Uh, so it was a great find uh, for, for them to find for me and uh, for me to be able to pick it up from them. So that was pretty awesome. So thank you guys. Uh, next up. 
uh, I have two uh, accessories for the N64. Now I picked these up not realizing that there's only a few games that actually support them uh, as at least the ones that I have uh, in my collection so far. And that's uh, two Rumble Packs and official Rumble Packs. Um, like I said, when I was looking through some of the games uh, for the Super Nintendo and whatnot, I did see some of these enrollment packs were out there. So I said, you know, I'm gonna take a chance. Uh, I believe I got them for like $8 each or $5 each, something like that, uh, after the discount. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, I have yet to um, actually pop in a game, but I plan on doing that soon and uh, just making sure. But these things are in such good shape that I believe they do a great job of, uh, you know, reenacting the rumble feature uh like original rumble feature so pretty excited about that so set these aside all right so the next thing that i have is going to be uh just kind of like a random purchase now i did see it uh, i asked the guy how much it was a reasonable price but i'm thinking about uh, maybe just trying to sell it or or um, maybe put it as like a giveaway um you know one of these uh, coming up months um, it's actually the for Xbox 360 it's a Gears of War 3 limited edition um, it is open so I was able to actually take a look at it um, so it's not like it's sealed copy or anything like that but it is actually pretty neat uh, let me see if I can get it out of here without messing the box even more so basically it comes in this little neat little box here and then when you open it up it has some pretty cool little stuff See, has a little coalition flag there. All right, so the last thing we picked up is actually three uh, pretty good uh, portraits that we picked up uh, from an artist there that um, uh, I just saw him and I said, you know, you gotta have this one and a few others. So we went in and picked it up. Uh, now, I'm not gonna really show you all the photos. I'm just gonna show you one of them. Uh, and then what I do, I did pick up uh, some, um, some frames, so I'm gonna frame them up and then they'll be in my next couple of videos in the background. I'm gonna throw them up there. So first, uh, actually not the first one, but the uh, photo I'm gonna show you is gonna be um, Hulk from uh, Ragnarok with the uh, helmet and everything, that's pretty neat. Um, like I said, definitely can't wait to put those in a uh, frame and set them up. So that way they'll be a part of my videos coming up. Uh, like I said, I have three uh, pictures there. So I can't wait for you guys to see all three of them in the frames uh, in my future videos. So uh, look out for that. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the few games I picked up in August. Um, I didn't really do very much uh, game searching in August because I was pretty busy, uh, kind of like I am you know i go coming into september uh we got a couple of trips planned at the end of the month and as well as uh at the middle of next month so um but like i said i'm gonna try to maybe do uh maybe go to maybe two videos a month uh now if you're not subscribed to my instagram uh please go out there and subscribe what i'll do is i'll put the information uh right here coming up just to let you know and remind you guys uh, where uh, you can find me on Instagram because uh, I'll probably be putting posts on there of like you know how often I'm gonna be I'm gonna start uh, putting videos out and it'll probably be like I said if not once a week maybe uh, twice a month or once a month something like that uh, just until I get uh, everything situated with uh, you know work hours and whatnot because usually I get home pretty late and by that time I'm kind of ready just to wind down and chillax so uh, all right so anyways. Uh, going back to the pickups for August, um, I got two uh, Game Boy Advance games I got from uh, purchasing a actual Game Boy Advance SP, uh, which that's going to be another video that's coming out. Uh, the LCD is in good shape. It is the first gen, so it's kind of, the I believe it's the front lit LCD, if I'm not mistaken, or it's the back lit, I can't remember. Um, so the case is scratched up while well, I'm actually able to find a uh, new shell casing for it. And I'm actually gonna probably do a video of me taking apart the old shell, putting in the new shell in, uh, you know, and everything and setting up, making it custom uh, because I aim to get probably a uh, whole set of the smoke black color for the for the Nintendo games or the consoles. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to figure that out. Now I did pick up a Game Boy Color recently. Uh, I'll probably show that in my uh, September pickup video at the end of the month. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, change out the case and everything for that SP, the silver one, and uh, and go that route. And at least the only thing I'll need left would be probably 
uh, Game Boy Advanced and then uh, maybe uh, pick up an original Game Boy because I plan on, I do have my original Game Boy still, but I think I'm gonna leave that one in stock because it's my original one that I had when I was a kid. Um, so anyways, moving on <laughs> to uh, the games. Uh, it's Wolverine's uh, X2 Wolverine's Revenge, I believe that's how it's called, for the uh, Game Boy Advanced. And uh, Space Channel 5, Yubilala's Cosmic, some, I can't read the bottom, Cosmic something, it's it's Space Channel 5, so it's kind of like a little, a little dancing kind of game, you know, I tried it out, it's pretty fun, uh, it's just where, you know, you press buttons, it's kind of like, I guess you could say, uh, uh, like Paul Rapper, the rapper, you know, which is a great game by the way too on PlayStation. So uh, that's a pretty cool little game. Like I said, I just picked them up because I didn't have any games for the Game Boy Advance and those came with the uh, SP that I picked up. Uh, so next up, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, are aware, but I'm uh, definitely a Mega Metal Gear Solid fan. Well, I found this uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Heater for uh, 3D for the uh, Nintendo 3DS in case. Now it doesn't have a, the booklet, uh, but it does have the uh, game itself. Now I don't have the game in here because I have it in my little case. Uh, so, but definitely cool pickup here, uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Heater 3D for the 3DS. Uh, next three games are going to be um, basically uh, just games I picked up uh, that I saw that they had. Um, now, normally when I go check out pawn shops, um, the games are f fairly reasonable. Uh, now, these, for the say, were very reasonable, uh, and I ended up picking them up with all the. Uh, the, with the manual and the uh, games and everything like that so uh, and then the cases were actually in pretty good shape first one's going to be Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories um, now I'm not really trying to get, collect the whole Grand Theft Auto series but I don't recall ever playing this one and like I said uh, it came with everything the map the the disc the book and everything like that uh, speaking of this sorry the disc was actually in good shape so I picked it up and I believe it only cost me three dollars Next up, we have uh, Spider-Man for the GameCube. Now, uh, I don't have a GameCube, but I do play the GameCube games that I have on my uh, Nintendo Wii. And like I said, um, on the GameCube games, these that they had there, of course, had the cases and everything and the uh, booklets. Uh, the discs were like in amazing condition. Now, it's very rare to find the GameCube games in amazing condition uh, because usually, you know, unfortunately, they belong to like uh, kids or whatever and they would just kind of throw the disc. And those little mini discs are very difficult to, uh, I believe, try to resurface. So, anytime I see some really good uh, GameCube games in cases, I try to pick them up uh, because you never know if uh, they. Uh, you know, you never know if you can find the same one or one that you've been looking for in a good condition like it is. Uh, so the last game that I picked up in August um, is I picked it up with those other games is um, probably one of the best finds I've ever found for the price that I paid for it. Um, like I said, I only paid a couple of bucks for it. And when I actually realized what I grabbed, um, you know, I'm, I looked it up on my app and um, noticed that it was pretty good uh, going for a pretty good price, selling for a pretty good price altogether like the way I found it. And it's uh, Eternal Darkness uh, Sanity's Requiem for the Nintendo GameCube. Now I have heard that this game is super scary. Um, I've never played it before, and like I said, because I'm again going back to uh, my original uh, you know, earlier, um, I didn't, never really was a Nintendo kid, so I, the only time I got to play GameCube games was whenever uh, kids would bring it over to the school. Um, whenever we, you know, have like free time, you know, we would play it uh, after school or whatever. So, um, again, um, I don't have it in the in the uh, in the case, but um, you can tell it comes with all the booklets and everything. Uh, it's actually in my Nintendo Wii right now because I was actually going to start playing it. Uh, like I said, I have heard this game is super great, uh, and this game was a great find for the price that I found it out. So I was pretty excited about that. I don't know if I'm ever going to get rid of it though, but you know, we'll see. All right, guys. So. That's it for my pickups for uh, July, the end of July, at the Classic Game Fest and August. Um, again, just make sure that you hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that like button, 
leave a comment in the comment section below if you have uh, any fond memories of any of these games I picked up or um, if you're um, you know digging the you know the videos or whatnot just let me know how everything's going I uh, really like to hear from you guys make sure you go out to the Instagram follow me on Instagram um, because there's a lot of great stuff coming up. Like I said, I'm going to try to schedule uh, at least once a month. So um, just watch out for those videos. Um, like I said, I have that Game Boy Advance SP video coming out real soon. Uh, I'm working on a couple other things too. So uh, definitely check it out. And make sure you hit that bell icon so that way you get a notification whenever my new videos come out. Or again, watch out for the uh, Instagram post saying when I posted a video. Uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.